I'd make more money if I installed Will here as a full-time glory hole greeter at a Georgetown gay bar, which I'm pretty sure he already does part-time, right, Will? Yes, sir. Congressman. Holy Christ, look at the size of this one. Buddy, I think you're as big as my gay dwarf. Um, uh, Dan Egan's office. Hello, Dan, I've got Congressman Furlong for you. Yes, sir. Wipe that thing off before you hand it to me. Ginger Rogers, but also Ginger Rogers. <sighs> nice joke construction, sir. Stop trying to polish my dick, you fucking four-eyed failure. Okay. We should be going. All right, we'll talk another time then. I got all the time in the world. We do actually have to be out of DC by tomorrow evening. It's a sir. metaphor. I don't think it's strictly as, sir, as a figure of speech, sir. You know, you're about as annoying as a condom filled with fire ants. How's that for a fucking metaphor? It's a simile, sir. Shut your mouth, you fat girl. All right, let's get this over with ASAP. It's not going to be easy with this big gangly piss flap over here. It moves like, hey, what do you move like, Will? I move as slowly as a Mississippi detective investigating the murder of a young black man. That's right. You ready, Mike? Yeah. We had a fucking deal. I make Senate in two years. We run together as a team in six. That was the deal. Aren't you fucking kill yourself, Will? Of course. Amy Bruckheimer. Congressman Furlong, to what do we owe this pleasure slash skin crawling sensation? Well, I just came out west to play a little cowboys and Indians with big chief suck chode here. Say it. Uh, <clears throat> how? Me suck pee pee in TP. Had <laughs> a girl. Pardon me, Mrs. Furlong. Jesus! You think I married that? That's Will's wife. Hi, Mike. It's good to see you. This is my wife, Mary. Uh, the congressman was kind enough to take us out to dinner on our anniversary. Hello. I guess Will likes him old. Why don't you fuck off back to Burger King? Oh, I'm sure we can just slip it under the skirt of the Homeland Security budget. Tell him why, Will. The budget has a fatter, more womanly behind than myself. Looking tighter than Will's own butthole when he's got his finger jammed up there watching uh, Bad News Bears while he jerks off. How tight is that, Will? It's very tight, sir. He says, Will, are you looking at what I'm looking at here? Will, tell them the first rule of hiring male staff. Well, they must be substantially less attractive than the congressman. And I almost hired an Iraqi war veteran. Third degree burns on half of his face, but the guy had personality. So, Will, tell him why I hired you instead. Because I'm repulsive both in appearance and manner. Right, now, let me give you some advice before you're yanked out of here like a cheerleader's unwanted fetus. You say nothing! And you do less. You know what the chief agricultural product of my district in Ohio is? I'll give you a hint. Looks like Will's wife's clit. Mangoes? No. Tell him, Will. Green beans. That's why I spent two months jamming them into that school lunch bill. Like what, Will? Like me jamming anonymous trucker cock in my mouth at a public restroom well known for that purpose. I All right, can't be too safe. That sweaty pederast has ruined more kids than the common core. Luckily, Will's anal halitosis renders him completely unboofable. Tell him why, Will. I'm fortunate to be odious to all colors of the sexual spectrum. Hey, did you get your curds, little Miss Muffless? You know, Will here can't eat cheese. What happens when you eat cheese, Will? I go poo-poo in my panty-wanties. No, you fucking idiot with the pinky. With the pinky. Do it again. What happens when you eat cheese, Will? I go poo-poo in my panty-wanties. <laughs> no, they were out now. I want a new office. And I want Rihanna to put a gun to my head while she makes me eat her out. But guess what? That's about as likely to happen as Will's wife putting a baby in her polyp festival of a uterus. Jesus Christ. Why did you tell him that? It's a polyp. I just had to tell somebody. I would sooner go to realize. But if we don't raise the debt ceiling, America's financial system is going to go belly up. Like what, Will? Like my labradoodle Teddy when I cover his cock and honey and give him a sticky licky. Bruckheimer, mm -hmm. got your dong of a resume. <laughs> I know you'd chew your own arm off to escape being handcuffed to Myers' overly toned corpse in her dungeon of losers, but I had to go in another direction. <laughs> Tell her why, Will. Uh, you're stronger than me, and you have a higher reserve of dignity and self-worth, and I'm trapped in a cycle of abuse. Congressman Ryan took our ball. Oh, shut up, narc. You shut up! All right, Will. Take the ball and tell them why. Balls are the only thing keeping me from choking on cocks. Without balls, I'd be swallowing dicks whole, just like Joey Chestnut. I'm sorry, Jonah, but uh, I'm gonna fit. Ah. Well, but chances of me pushing for any tax incentives for these private hooskows is about as likely as what, Will? Is me walking out of a bar with less than 10 types of semen in my hair. Oh, we gotta go. Will's got a full day ahead of him. Tell him what you gotta do, Will. Uh, well, I was hoping to finally finish my passion project. Which is? Rerouting my urethra to behind my balls so that I have to sit to pee like a real girl. <laughs> it's time to get out there and start twisting some arms and pinching nipples. And what else, Will? And may the best man win. And may the hairiest man zip tie me to a slaughterhouse drainage grate and make tender hate to my rear and mouth in that order at his leisure. <laughs>
Beautiful. Well done, pig. Yeah. We can't have a damaged nominee. I know. Somebody's going to go down for this, Selena. Like myself, I'm any traveling German businessman at a debut. Not and now, breakfast. Will. Read the room. She's waiting around to make sure she's actually dead while you sit in the back row sucking on hard candies like what, Will? Uh, I like jizz. Ah, shit, he ain't what he used to be.